Hello, Jim Hodges here. Cooper here. Cooper is a standard poodle, almost one year of age. He came in for our residency training program. Really sweet boy, really a happy guy. Very smart. Poodles are one of the smartest breeds available in the world today. I like to tell people that smart dogs learn real quick, but the challenge is, is him doing or obeying us when he doesn't want to do it. That's when leadership becomes part of the program. That's when we get in the habit of telling him what to do and expecting him to do it. If he does it, we praise. If he does it, we provide that bite or consequence, that touch that uh, I am always talking about in our videos and in my one-on-one -on -one trainings. So we're gonna go through the process of the commands, watch what I do, listen to my tone of voice, and let's just see how it goes. If he messes up, you're gonna see me bite. Bite again is uh, the touch that I believe is is so essential for dog communication, and we go from there. You ready, buddy? Let's go. Ah, a boy. So let's go is walking with us on a leash. A loose leash, in the beginning, it should be pretty close to us. Cooper should be real close. Can you walk with this much leash? Sure. But in the beginning, when you're doing this, he may cloud your walk. He may be walking out in front of you going down the street. So I always ask my clients to keep him real short to begin with. Short and loose. Not short like this, but a loose leash. So we're teaching our dog that we're in control and that he's with us at all times. Let's go. Bad boy. Good boy. Hand signal, sit. Good. Hand signal for sitters like this, he has to sit. He has to hold the sit until we release him. Okay, as I've said before in other videos, I don't want to put a dog in a sit for a long, long time because I feel like that could put pressure on their rear end. But nevertheless, if I've told him to sit, he has to stay in the sit until I do go to another command or release. If he started to get up, I would go, no, sit. A tap up lightly and sit. And then good boy once he's sat, okay? Very important to know that. Break. Break is my release command. What is a release? When we've been working and I want to give him free time, I'll go break. That teaches him that he can do whatever he wants to as long as it's behaviorally correct and he's not pulling on a leash or anything like that, okay? Let me go back on the let's go, let's go. Say he didn't come with me on the let's go. I would tap the leash, good boy, in the direction that I'm heading. So if he went that way, I would tap the leash this way and I would go, no, let's go, good boy. Just wanted to pick that back up. So sit, hand signal, a boy. He's getting ready to lay down. He called himself, good boy. So now he's probably thinking I'm getting ready to tell him down, which in all honesty, I was getting ready to tell him down, but I'm not gonna tell him down now because he's reading my mind and I'm falling into that pattern training routine. So I'm gonna break the routine. Break. Sit. Good, let's go. Place, place. It's for him to, and a boy. Notice I didn't praise until the fourth foot hit the bed. He can lay down, sit down, stand up. I don't care what he does on his bed, but he has to stay there, okay? Uh, the hand signal was a point. That's all there was to it. Break. Let's go. Sit. Good. Now D-O-W in from the side. Down. Atta boy. Down, of course, is down. When we tell him to down, he has to lay down. I don't want him to smell the ground or anything while we're working. If he didn't down or if he popped up, I would, this is his head, I would go, no, down, okay? Now, I should be able to step away from him any direction I want to step from and he holds that down or that sit for that matter. If he got out of one of those commands, I would take him back, no, 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 down, and immediately go back to where I was. Good boy. Break, sit. Break, down. Good boy, that's a good boy. Down from in front is like this, okay? It's hard for him to see that from in front of me, so I'll do down this way. He did it, I praised him. Make sure your praise occurs when he finishes the command and not before he finished it, because that's the way for a smart dog to start to undermine your obedience. You ready, buddy? Let's go. Sit. 
Good. Now, one of the commands that, good boy, one of the commands that I tell people to use treats, and I use treats to start with him to help uh, lure him, teach him what I wanted him to do. But one of the commands that I always use treats for in the beginning is the off-leash come and even the on-leash come a lot of times. Why do I do that is, is I'm trying to add another, another incentive while we're uh, impressing upon him what we want. My hand signals like this. He comes, he sits, and a boy. Give him a treat and pet and love at the same time. He's still in the come command. The come means he sits at the end. Great. If I was afraid he was going to get up before I could give him that treat on the come, I would have released him after he sat. Come. Good boy. It's important, break, that uh, we always give praise, verbal and touch, whenever we're working with our dog as much as we can, okay? It creates that wonderful association of what we're doing. Off leash, I would have done something probably like this. Get him not paying attention. Now listen and watch the tone. Hey, right back here. Come. Pretend like I didn't have a leash on then. You notice I just got his attention. I yelled at him. Just tried to grab his attention, show him a treat. Right. And then I told him to come when he was coming to me. So he was looking at Rachel and the camera and the cat over there. And I just pulled his attention out of nowhere. He saw I had something and he wanted to come. And I did not tell him to come while he was there or while he was looking that way. I only told him to come when he committed to coming to me. That's so important. So many people have problems with come with their puppies and their dogs. It's because we tell them to come and they're chasing butterflies. We tell them to come and we punish them when they get to us. We tell them to come and we put them up in the crate and go to work and none of that is fun. To come command has to be fun, has to be a bonding and I want to do type experience. So we try to make it happy, 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 100, 200, 300, 400 times, as many times throughout the rest of your life as you can. Because that one time you need to come is what you're preparing for, okay? Let's go. Good boy. Let's go. Come on. See me motivating? Load up. Hop. Of course, that's to help load up in the car or get up on a favorite couch if you had one. Right? Let's go. Sit. Good boy. Now, the next command is the heel command. We know let's go. Heel is just a much tighter, always tighter version of the let's go. We have an imaginary box beside us. Our job is to keep him in the box. His job is to stay in the box. When we stop, he should sit automatically. Heel. Not heel. Come on. We're going to have to do this again. I can already tell you. We stop. We sit. Now, I said we're going to have to do this. Why did I say that? Something got his attention right before we got ready to do the heel. And when we make a mistake, I like to go back and proof it and make it happen right the next time. You ready, buddy? Heel. Good boy. We're together. Step off. He comes back into the box. And he stops. I can step off and he's still there. Good boy. Down. Now, one of the things with the down I will do is stay. When I tell a dog, when I do a normal down, he's got to hold the down until I give him another command. But when I tell him stay, he can pretty much relax in that down command. He can lay on his side, he can smell the ground, he can chew a bone. He doesn't have to pay attention and wait for my next command. The stay is sort of like a turn off switch, remain where you are. Also use that stay command in rooms. Like I'm walking out a door and I want to stay, stay in a room, stay. He was to walk through that door, I would get him. No, 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 take him back to the room, stay and walk back out again. You're a good boy. Bring it. Let's go. Sit. So, long story short, this is Cooper. You've got to praise. When we give him a command, he does what we ask, we praise him. We also try to pet and praise as much as we can. You can use treats as much as you want to, okay? But be certain that you don't fall in the trap that you're always leading him with a treat and he obeys for the treat. 
He obeys because you told him to, okay? If he doesn't obey, we buy. If we're going to use a treat and he doesn't obey, we don't give him a treat because we don't want to reward him for doing something wrong or halfway, okay? Basically, that's Cooper. I thank you very much. Jim Hodges, Jim Hodges Dog Training, 336-945-3232. You can always pick up the phone and call me. Follow-ups are forever. This guy's a happy guy. You're not going to have real problems. Biggest thing is be the leader, okay? Take care. Bye-bye. Break. -bye.